Cause everybody in the world died oh, Please Lord give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant Welcome back to another episode of Lone Star College Football Got Logan in the building again Yes sir her. Today we're gonna discuss how the NIL not necessarily that it is running college football, but just how could it? How has it affected the transfer portal? How is it affecting recruiting? How is it affecting team chemistry? Uh, because if you think the NIL isn't playing a part in all three of those aspects, you are out of your mind. Um, yeah, for sure. I think I think just over the last two cycles, we've seen multiple players transfer to a team or like high school recruits committing to a team. And it's like, it's like pretty obvious that NIL is playing a big factor that we're not used to seeing. At least we're not used to seeing on like, like reported because it used to, they used to pay players and it was just under the table. And now we actually get to see it. And now that we can see it, the number is getting bigger. Like you're not giving a player 15 K to come to your school. Now that you can do it, you're giving them, you know, 150 K. No. And I think, Man, it just seems like we're, we're these numbers are kind of getting crazy, and I don't know, I don't know what it's doing, but it doesn't feel like it's doing good for college football. What do you, What are your thoughts, man, Christian? I just had a question for you, man. How many times are we going to see these big name schools drop bags on these kids that aren't proven? I mean, A yeah. and M, Texas this year with Quinn Ewers. You can't sit there and give high school kids millions of dollars to come to your school whenever they have no college experience. Now, transfer portal guys, that's a little bit different depending on where they come from. If you got somebody coming from Bama and you know that they're proven and they just miss, say they're from Texas, they miss playing in the state of Texas around their family, I get paying those guys. But these kids out of high school, you can't – their NIO evaluations that these – media outlets come up with don't mean they are good in college. Yeah, they're not adding up. The money, the money doesn't add up at all. And and yeah, you're right. Because you got a transfer portal guy. Uh what's a good example? Uh Jordan Addison, right? Go he's the Bolitnikoff receiver. Like he's the best receiver in college football. He goes in the transfer portal. But first of all, we all know Lincoln Riley was tampering. He was talking to that guy yes. way before he got in the portal. But he talked all that to aside, everybody before he got in the portal. Right. And I'll, and you know what? That's just another – you can throw that on the list of how is this not good for college football. But you know, you've got a guy like Jordan Addison that is proven. You want to drop 500000 You want to drop a million? I mean, to me, that's a crazy amount of money. But, like, to a school like USC, it's not. And you want to drop that much money for him. Fine, but Texas dropping whatever we dropped for Quinn. I don't know the exact numbers, but to be honest, the way he played, I bet we dropped over a million and he did not give us a million dollars worth of results. I mean, I'd have maybe given him 200,000. Like, like he and don't get me wrong, I mean, Quinn played the transfer portal better than anybody has so far. Oh, for sure, dude, went to, dude was in Columbus collecting a bag to sit there and yeah. watch practice. Like, to be like the on, fourth man. string, he handed the ball off twice. He left high school a year early and got probably a million in the bank and then mm-hmm. doesn't play, transfers to Texas, probably gets another million in the bank. And at least he had a mediocre style. He wasn't elite and by any means. I mean, he had glimpses. Yeah. But like I said, I mean, he might have been worth 200K. There, you know, and he's young. Don't get me wrong, guys. He's young. He will 100% improve. But Texas overpaid. And to your point, Logan, how many times a stupid school like Texas, you'll probably never stop. But like, there's going to be schools who's like, no, we're not paying high school players this much money because we, first of all, we just can't afford to keep doing it. Right. Baylor, they're like, we can't afford to do that. No. And, and, you know, if, if you paid him a million and he ends up being a Heisman winner, wins you a natty, it's worth it. It's Your school thing. will yeah. make more money than you spent on him. But in most cases, that's not the that's not the situation. And no. one extreme case, it, it's really gone bad and downhill for him quick. But before we jump into that, uh, y'all do us a favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're growing pretty quick. We want to get a great community going. 
uh, especially before the next football season. And oh, yeah, great. Uh, if you're in the market for home, auto, life, health, or business, commercial insurance, call Casey Crutcher over at Rollo Insurance. He was able to save my family $40 a month. Doesn't sound like a lot. That's almost $500 a year on our home and auto. So just give him a call, see what see, he can do for you. See, my, my thing with that, dude, y'all go ahead and pause this video right now. Whenever you see this number come up, pause the video. It's not going to cost you anything to see how much you can save. Like It's free. It's He'll saving the numbers. He'll tell you what he can do. It's either he either saves you money or he doesn't. It doesn't cost you a penny. I mean, you got to think Christian's saving almost fit, uh, $500 a, a year. A year. Just yeah. j- just because he calls this number right here that you see floating around, it costs you nothing to just see how much it'll save you. Sure does. Sure does. It's worth it. Promise. Uh, but lastly, last thing for this video, Texas A&M, dude. They dropped so much money to get a bunch of 18, 19-year-old kids to come to their school Kids who don't really care about the school, they don't care about the program, they don't care about their lame traditions. Nope. They have, they don't care about College Station. They wanted the bag and they got it. And then they went five and seven. And now what? We see a mass exodus of, of College Station. I mean, they've got their number one. Their A and M guys is finally number one in college football for something. <laughs> the most players in the transfer portal. It's absolutely ridiculous. Paying yeah, for them. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy whenever you have coaches walking around a stadium with kids that are on a f- official or unofficial visits, not sure who's right. in that video, and these kids are going to end up getting paid more than that coach is that showing them around in their first mm-hmm. year without probably even touching the field. Most of them. Yeah, and and we're gonna put we're gonna take a little break right here. That video is going to be inserted. That's not how NIL is supposed to work. NIL is supposed to be name, image, likeness. If there is a business like Dijon Mustard, right, they want Bijan because his name sounds similar, and they want to say, hey, we want to use your name and image on our brand. Here's money. That's how NIL works. And don't get me wrong, guys. I, I'm not a fool. I don't think Texas is doing everything by the books. But the fact that A and M got on video cheating, like yep. they're cheating, not like any other school isn't, but it's on video. And the NCAA, NCAA, they didn't step in or nothing. I think they've nope. just taken a back seat. They're like, if we interfere, y'all are gonna sue us. If we interfere, y'all are gonna just dismember us and and do away with us altogether. And man, gotta be honest, I'm not concerned about A and M. I hope they do suck. As long as they uh, have Jimbo, recap. they're not going to do anything. Yeah, recap. We're about to make a video on this, but Anthony Hill just committed to Texas after he decommits from yep. A&M a couple, year, uh, a couple months ago. So love that. But honestly, I'm trying to figure out, and, and I don't want to say this as a negative, but I've been seeing on Twitter that A&M is starting to offer off a lot of scholarships mm-hmm. to three-star players. There's nothing wrong with three-star players. A team like Baylor, we've seen. TCU, we've seen. Like, there are teams, Cincinnati made the playoffs. Three-star players can become a really elite with great coaching and great development. But when you're A&M and you've got 20-plus players in the portal and you're like, how in the world are we going to fill 85 roster positions for next season, they're panicking. They can't get an offensive coordinator. It's going to be Jimbo Fisher. They're going to suck again. That's fine. Thumbs down. Uh, I mean, my my only problem with the whole A&M thing – with them going to three stars is that they're trying to get our guys. Dave Aranda is, he is amazing at recruiting. He like person over player. That's right. been his whole thing, which is it worked last year, this year. Don't even get me started on what happened with that. But right. whenever a and and Jimbo are going after our three stars and low four stars, I don't like it. <laughs> no. But if, but if these kids are smart, if they are smart, they will see what is happening down in College Station and be like, wait a minute, I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be stuck with them. And Baylor not wanting to offer me if I hit the transfer portal or TCU, Kansas, all that. Don't risk it, dude. That's, that's yeah. 
Yeah, I agree, dude. I think it's Jimbo is, yeah, Jimbo, he's panicking. He knows he should have probably been fired, and he knows that if next year is anything like this year, he will be fired. Yeah. So he he's panicking. But that's pretty much all I got on this. You got anything to add? No, I think that's about it, man. All right. Well, before we jump out of here, do us a favor. If y'all made it this far, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're sitting at like almost 230. We do have another giveaway that we will do at 500 subscribers. Um, and I think we'll get there faster than we're planning. So y'all are going to end up making us go broke. So appreciate y'all rocking with us. Bow, there's that number again. Make sure to hook up. Oh, yeah. Casey, man, $500 a year for my boy Christian over here. It's, it's not, not bad. bad. It doesn't hurt just, anything to just call and try to save some money. Yeah, five hundred dollars. You can put that. You can invest it. Put it down on your mortgage, Christmas money, vacation. You can listen what to our loans, our locks, and take my picks. Because right now you'd be making <laughs> even more money. We'd be good. We'd be good. Yeah, if you bet, if you bet five hundred dollars on all of, if you did, if you spread it out over the whole season, you'd probably have made a whole. Four and a half bucks off a of load. Hey, 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 yeah, but you're still making money. That's the thing. All right. You ain't losing yeah. nothing like it's a lot more. Yeah, you lost five hundred dollars <laughs> betting on mine for sure. But, All right. Appreciate y'all riding with us. Until next time. Hook on.